Hello everybody, Ginger Shadow here and welcome back to Naruto Gaiden and it's definitely Gaiden, it's 100% Gaiden, I kind of got it wrong last time, well I never got it wrong last time in video, I may have titled it wrong and that's mainly because I kind of had an episode of Dragon Ball Genjutsu at, that I like edited just before that, like, well not edited but like I, I set it up so it was like ready to go and be uploaded and whatever. And I wrote down Genjutsu and that and I just wrote Genjutsu and Naruto as well and everyone flagged it to me, I noticed it. <laughs> I know it's too late, but whatever. We're here in Naruto Gaiden, where, yeah, I did say it right there. Um, the tank is full. That's one thing. Yeah, I went mining off camera. I went and did stuff. I've been I've been floating around doing bits and pieces. As you can see, maybe my magic levels up a little bit higher. My magic that totally means chakra. I'm still not in the right frame of mind. I don't know. I've had a bit of a weird. It's been a bit of a weird stressful weekend for me. Between well, work's not really that stressful to be honest, but like there's just other stuff going on where I just account of mine got hacked and it wasn't fun. Um, and just, just it's a whole stressful situation. That's why there was no video on Monday because I just I just was in the frame of mind to record on my own. I was just like a little bit going a little bit mental. But yeah, so I'm kind of over that now for the most part. Although the, everything's not fixed fully, but whatever. Um, we're moving on. So, yes, off camera. I mined a bunch. I thought a bunch. Did played about the land down there, but no. Um, Chocobo has got a bunch of names for the Chocobos. I like quite a few of them, but um, for the male green one, I picked the name Lai Ren because Ren from Rui, just that was pretty good. And for the female blue one, we have got Pappy, which I thought was quite good as well. And for some reason, Boruto, he actually, like, for some reason went back to his default name. I had to change it again. I have no sort of clue why, but he did, but I changed him back. So that's fine. Um, I do have a bunch of other names. Like, um, someone suggested I use a female, um, blue choke one called Juvia and give it the pat. I probably will try that at some point if I get another blue, um, female one. Because I won't need, like, a second blue female one. So if I get one by chance, I'll call it Juvia, bag it up, and deliver it to Pat someday. But right, um, let us do a question of the day, then we'll move on to the other bits and pieces for today. So last time I asked the question, what is a, what was your favourite fight in Naruto? And some of the answers I got. My favourite fight was Madara vs the Ninja Alliance because it was great first impression, emphasised how powerful and ancient he really was. Also, it was just really awesome. That's by Zachary Melendez. And yeah, nothing really puts an exclamation point on being badass than just jumping into the middle of an army and utterly wrecking them. Oh no wait, sorry, um, something does put more of an exclamation point. Dropping two freaking meteors on said army. <laughs> Madara! He just shows up and just wrecked everything. And just blew away all expectations. Because, like, I don't think anyone thought a meat like, two like, no one saw one meteor coming. And a second one dropped over it after they thought, oh my god, they just stopped a meteor and then a second one plops down on top of it. That was a br that was brilliant. I loved that fight as well. Dog. So dog just entered my room. Um, the other one I picked out, Mega Eight Gates versus Madara, because we get to see how full power. Uh, we got to see the full power of the gates, and that was by Dylan Duhog. And yeah, again, Eight Gates, my guy was absolutely freaking brilliant because I th I think it's just like the Eight Gates technique was a technique that was shown really early in Naruto, like really damn early. With all the episodes that's out of Naruto, it was shown really early. By Rock Lee versus Gara, which by the way, that fight is within my top five easily. Like Rock Lee versus Gara just put a whole different that was a whole different level of fighting compared to what we'd seen so far in Naruto. And yeah, they kind of just direct it. And yeah, no, but the we saw like five of the gates open at that point. And ever since then we always wondered what would happen about the eighth gate, like how strong would that be? And then we finally got to see it, that was absolutely brilliant. Literally broke uh Madara's spine at that point, basically. Might as well have. But yeah, it didn't really matter because Madara was pretty much a god at that point, but whatever. Um, but for me, my favourite fight... I mean, a lot of people said Naruto versus Sasuke, the last one was, like, their favourite fight. I don't know, that wasn't really my favourite fight, all things considered. I, don't know, I think it's mainly just because we kind of... Even if we hadn't seen the end of the show yet, even when it first came out, we knew who had to kind of win. <laughs> like, it was the ending fight. We knew what was kind of going to happen. So... Yeah, it, it, I don't know, that just kind of threw the fight off me. It was a brilliant fight, don't get me wrong. Now, my favourite fight would be probably Naruto versus the Pains when he first went stage mode, just simply because I know I said last time I loved the whole team aspect of Naruto, but the fight against the Pains, okay, he had some help from the frogs and stuff, but yeah, no, he just wrecked house. That was like, a, he just, he jumped on our level at that point. It was just, it was epic. I loved it. But yeah, like I said, the 
um, Gara versus Rock Lee, definitely in top five. I'd also say that the uh, Madara versus the five Kagi again, another fight that I freaking loved. Yeah, that was probably up there as well. Anyway, um, oh yeah, next question, next question, question nine. What crossover would you like to see with Naruto? So I don't know if Naruto was gonna have a crossover special, what would you want it to be? Let's see it in the comment section down below and your reason why. Now, out here, um, what well, what am I doing? I'm not even sure what am I doing. Well, I know some things I want to do. So first off, I started clearing it over here. Just, I started breaking down rocks and stuff. That was mostly just for training of this. But also for training this. Because this is so freaking close now. Am I at 100%? Yeah, I'm at 100%. Thank God, I can't, I can't level up yet. Alright, hold on. Let's get a few more punches in. If you press F4 down at the very bottom, it says progression level 100%. There we go. Level 2. Yeah, I've been setting training that off camera as well. <laughs> I want to reach level 2 finally. This is my earth and wind... Just I don't even know what to call this. It's, it's, it's Vector. It's a Geki Genkai. It's like I don't even know. It's a force manipulation, right? Um, can I learn that? Not enough energy. I need to go charge this, which is fine. There's tons of energy lying around, so that'll be fine. My dog's freaking out beside me because he probably wants something from me. No, I'm not trusting him though. No, I, I know I know exactly what he wants. I'm not doing it yet. Dog, dog, you can just sit right here and wait. Um, oh yeah, I grabbed a bunch of orberry bushes while I was elf mining. And obviously, hello. That was unexpected. Um, <laughs> anyway. And yeah, I spent all my points I had on this. So one thing I want to unlock is area of effect. Because I want to combine that with my earth jutsu and create like a shatter blitz style thing. I, I just want it for the digging purposes because I've been using the digging um, ability a lot. And yeah... Having a, a massive earth still jutsu, that would be pretty good. What was the other thing I wanted? Um, I think there's one, where is it? Utility? It's a utility. It must be utility. Uh, grow. I want that. And there's a good reason for it. Mainly, tarma roots. So tarma roots are a certain plant that only spawn underground. Or they spawn sometimes up in the hills. They are stupidly hard to find. It like they weren't in the first season so much. In the first season, we found quite a few of them fairly often. They're a lot harder to find now because we've got Botanica in, and Botanica spawns lots of plants, even underground. It's it's made getting them extremely difficult. So apparently, grow is an ability that would allow me to basically grow tarmaroot because tarmaroot grows on stone. It used to grow on grass. Now it grows on stone. It it stopped growing on grass, so you couldn't just bone meal stuff and get it. So you can't bone meal it. You've got to basically learn the grow ability if you want to get this. Or you have to go hunt for it. I'm going to learn the grow ability because that seems the easiest way to me. But to do that, I need to get there. And how do I get there? Um, How do I get there? Well, first I need to get binding, which is a blue. Then I need to get plant. Then I'll probably need to get create water and plow. So that will require two blues... Two, no, three, bl three blues and a green, at least. It may I also need to get drought and harvest plant because sometimes you need to have all the lines hooking into it to, like, done to connect it. I don't know. So, yeah, I could require quite a bit to get this. Now, the blues are no problem. I can kill blue bosses quite easily. It's the greens that are a bloody problem. I don't know where... I can't fight the air guardian because you need wind distance, which is made through tarmor roots. Um, there is the Snow Guardian, but he's pretty strong. Actually, speaking of strength, I probably should up my defense, shouldn't I? Like, I've been rocking these iron pants for quite a while. I probably should upgrade. What do you think? I think I should. I think I should take the very few diamonds that I have and make make better pants. Hold on. Let's let's do that right now because I, I kind of want to rock a better defense. Oh, so yeah, I've got, like, no diamonds. Which is odd because I actually have Fortune 3. I just don't seem to have any ever. It's weird. Uh, where... I'll shove these in here. You just can chill in there. Right, that is fine. Oh! Oh yes, I also got a bunch of answers for ideas for shop people. I, I swear I just saw that, that pig spazzing out there. <laughs> um, anyway. Yes, no, um... It, what was I saying? I was saying something. Yes, the shops, the shops, the shops. Because I plan to build shops, don't I? Oi! Dodge is disabled, please. Good dim. Um, yes, I got a bunch of ideas for that. Or you get you suggest a bunch of things. So people were saying like Urza and Ten Ten stuff for like an armory weapon shop. Um, for food, what did you say for food again? I don't. Someone suggested the Food Wars anime. I've never watched that, so I'm not actually sure about that one. 
Um, I don't I don't know any characters from that. I did get what was it Orochimaru and Doctor Frankenstein from Solier for running a certain type of shop. So that was a thing. So yeah, no, there's a few different ideas get flung around, which I quite liked. It was quite good. Now where where is the other thing I wanted? I want I want I want I want, I want these and I want. There they are. Sakura trees. We need these. Because we need to decorate the village. Actually, sorry, I need to tear down all the trees on the outside and, like, put sakura trees up. Because sakura trees are so much, so much prettier. And now everyone is active on Skype again. What the hell is going on? I'm just looking. My Skype keeps popping up at the side. Like, no one can see it on screen, but my, my Skype's popping up. And, yeah, everyone's messaging about stuff. I don't know. I think they're talking about anime. It seems more than likely. I don't know. Mitch is there, Enmo's there, and Zaro's there. It's quite odd. Although, none of us seem to... We don't see the Geller Geller as much anymore. I don't know. Um, everyone, like, Zarl's sleeping. I don't know. He's doing something. Um, Mitch is Mitch. He's a myth. And, like, I don't even know what Enmo's doing. I'm not even sure. I don't know what anyone's doing anymore. Everyone's just off doing stuff. Probably should have tried. I probably should try harder. Never mind. We're fine on our own then now. It'll be later on when I want more people on this anyway. <laughs> Now I'm fine on my own because I'm try I'm just gonna kind of doing villagey stuff right now. That's the whole plan right now is just do as much villagey stuff as I can, get a nice village up and running, and then pretty much just decide how to handle people there. Where is that chocobo? There is that chocobo. It's still here. It's never gonna leave. It will just remain here forever. I should bag it actually and put it in a jail cell or something. That's actually not a bad idea. <laughs> Hold on. You've been lurking around for far too long, my friend. You're you're not running free anymore. Oh yeah, I removed all the lava from here, made a drum, and like shoved it all in there. Ooh, speaking of making things, I need, I need, I need a golden bag of folding. Because that's running about like a scrub. Hold on. Golden. That's not how you spell golden. What? Have I not got extra utilities in this? I. No, wait, hold on. That makes more sense. I'm an idiot. Alright, hold on. Bag. There we go. <laughs> I was getting confused. I had Ars Magica selected because I was looking up Tarma roots and stuff to try to see if there was any other way I could make them. I need four oil, gold, 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 chest, and diamond. That's easy enough. I need one because I ran a bit mining and I just I, I just couldn't handle it. Like, I had so much stuff and I wanted to keep mining. I just couldn't because it just I was running out of space left, right, and center. Um, wait, I keep getting Master Ore. Now, I know that's for Zelda. I don't know what it does. Like, I, I've got an idea what it does. But I don't actually know. So, yeah. If anyone has any idea how to use the Master Ore. Because I've got a bunch of it. Like, if I click Usage, it doesn't show me anything. I know, I think it's something to do with a certain smith. Um, with Zelda and stuff, we'll hit, like, do something with that. But, I, I don't know. Again, I've never really done that. I think you need the Master Sword as well. But, yeah, I, I've not done that either. So, I know where a Master Sword is, though. But I haven't got any dependents, so we're, we'll worry about that, war, like the weapons and stuff later, so that's not correct. There we go. And... Bup, 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 bup. Golden bag. Yeah, I needed this so, so bad. Oh. Also, hold on. What am I doing? I'm supposed to be... Wrong thing. I'm supposed to be unlocking my abilities, aren't I? Let's just shove you in there for now. Or you'll be safe. And let's get the next level of our power unlocked. Where are we at? I think this is only when I get a Vector Accelerator, which is basically just like a tiny, crappy little jump. But it does have one benefit, being that I can level up quickly with it. Hold on. Yeah, you're level 3. Oh, you're level 2. I can actually learn you. Vector devi Deviation. So that's one of the reflector shields. Alright. And that's Vector Reflection. Uh, right, so Vector Deviation, I guess, is the one where it reflects attack away from you. And Vector Deviation is the one... No, wait. I think no, one of them works on projectiles and one of them works on physical. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure. I've never really done this before. Um, but okay. But... Hold on. Let's, let's switch you with you. Let's try you out. That's it. <laughs> This is the extent of my new power. <laughs> Although it does show you where you're applying to go. You can see the direction. Oh, wow. Okay. Never mind. Yeah, it's slightly better if you charge it. It's just an extra leap, basically. 
Can I, can I like, no, I can't, I can't, I can't, hold on. No, I, okay, I can't use it while I'm in the air. I have to be on the ground for it to work. Or do I? Okay, yeah, no, if you move, if you go forward at speed, it like, it cancels. So like, yeah, okay. It's just, it's interesting though. It's an interesting thing. I'm already at 1%. I'm already at 1% and I'm being tweeted by people. Match, winner. Oh, he's, he's mentioning about Sword Art Online. Yeah, Sword Art Online on PS4 is fun. I enjoy it. It's, it's good fun. But yeah, no, we need to clear out the, we need to clear out the trees over here. That's another thing. Oh, God. My shins. <sighs> that could have gone better. All right, hold on. You need to die, sir. There we go. Yeah, I went and used a bunch of bombs. I tried using a trick. I was told that if you, for getting tarmorates, if you surround a um, bit of dirt with stone, you can bone meal it and you can get tarmorate. There might only be like a slim chance of it though, because I used like over a snack of bone meal and got nothing. So yeah, that's not looking too good on the tarmorate front. I'm trying to think what other bosses give me greens and what other bosses could I unlock and use. I mean, does the book even have everything open? The good book even give me anything? Is good book going to tell me stuff? The good book's not even telling me stuff. Alright, good book. Screw you, good book. Um, I need a jail cell. I feel like I need a jail cell. Which is a random thing to feel like you need, but... This chocobo has... It really does need it. Yeah, you know, I'm actually... I'm convinced at this point that this chocobo actually pushed the original blue chocobo onto the orberry bushes. Just because he was jealous. Because I loved the blue one more than him. Yeah, I feel like that's probably what happened. Now, where the hell is my iron bars? There they are. Uh, da, 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 da. I need stone. Lots and lots of stone for where this chap is going. Right, now I need him where I can keep an eye on him. Because if I hide him away, he might escape again. Um, Where can I keep a wanted criminal? He's not really a wanted criminal, he's a caught criminal. And he's kind of unwanted. He's been unwanted since he was born. That's kind of where the jealousy spread from. Um, I think we can go here. Let's do this. We'll go here. And then we'll... Oh. There we go. And then... Arguably, I should have used my... Digging ability, but never mind. I also need, I need to get back in the frame of mind of always saying Jutsu, because I used I always sort of forget to say it nowadays. It's just, I, I've not been that frame of mind for so long. <laughs> it's just all the fairy tale and all the ruby and stuff. I've just been, I've been doing all their stuff for so long. I completely, I completely lose that frame of mind. Also, yeah, let's just break all of you as well. We're going to steal this guy in. This guy ain't getting out. Um, shove you in there. Okay, no, this isn't what I wanted. Put that there. Switch you with you. Alright, mate. You're not... <laughs> Don't look at me like that. You're not getting out. I just locked you in here. See? Not getting out, mate. Not getting out. Okay, now we know where the Wanderer is at all times. This is fine. Ah, <laughs> uh, someone will let them out eventually. Someone always does let them out. Like, I can't have nice things. I can't even have pets. Like, I'm surprised those chocobos are still alive. Like, I suppose Zaro hasn't been on the server. Zaro's Zaro, Zaro. If Zaro was on the server, though, I imagine I would have lost the chocobos by now. Um, can I shove all of you in here? And can I get back to planting trees around the, the edge of the town? Because although it seems like a dull thing to do, it's it actually brightens up the place and makes it look nicer. I prefer the pink trees, okay? I prefer them. I think they're nice looking. So yeah, we're going we're rocking them. I don't I don't like this mushroom though. See that's the thing, I like this biome that I'm in, I like the area I'm in, but I don't I just don't like the biome next to it. Like the covered tree ones, I don't like the wood from it and I don't like I don't like the biome in general. Like I don't like many biomes that can rain. But actually that's not true, I do like a plains biome. I do like a plains battle, so I'm getting all the shrooms right now. They're going to have a party tonight. We're going to have a party, and there's going to be shrooms. Any objections? No, I didn't think so. Da, 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 da. Is there a quicker way of doing this? There is a quicker way of doing this. I'm a fool. I'm a fool. Right, plant. I should fill in that hole, and I will one day. Don't worry about it. We're just, we're just quickly planting around the edge, just so we've got some kind of line. I don't know, I see all this or build a wall. I mean, I am all for building a wall. I'm always up for building a wall. All right. The fullest back we're going to go is over there. That's guaranteed. And I may I may put an edge on here. It's like at least one out here. Okay. That's fine. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. I'm trying to picture, like, in my head, the best place to, like, start building buildings. Because I imagine I might put, like, an edge on this bit here. Because I'm making it, like, a walkway. I'm going to push that mountain in more. Then I'm going to have houses all along here and around here and that. Show. Then I'm going to have... I think I'm going to have a building up there going into the wall. I don't know what the building should be, though. I keep thinking, like, school. But there, there is that thought. Also, can I get up there with this? I can! That's actually better than the leap. Like, that's like a double leap. Pyom! <laughs> okay, but you can't... Okay, downside is I cannot jump. Or I can't double jump when I'm using it. And apparently you can't go down either. You can do a mini one, though, really quick. No, I can't. Okay, yeah, you know, you have to be looking a set way for this to work. Although this does get easier. It's going to take a while to train. Oh, look, let's have a look. How much does it give me? It gives me one... Wait, what is that? It's... 0.15% of my level progress at the very bottom. And... For CP, it gives me 0.5. For the amount it's costing, that is not too bad. It's probably about the same as what my original one was. But yeah, it's going to take freaking forever to get to level 3. And when I get to level 3, I'll need to go... Keys! Sorry, Keese. I'm not sorry. Keese is a jerk, okay? No one should feel sorry for Keese. Keese is an absolute jerk. I don't like him. All he ever does is try to hurt me. Now, can I ditch all of you in here? Because I feel like you're probably going to be important somewhere. No, not that. Never that. Oh, there's the thing I should go to. Hold on. Where, 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 where? There. Da da. Yeah, fairies respawn in this. So, if you've got glass bottles around, always just grab the fairies. Fairy catcher. Yeah, these just respawn. They'll keep coming back. This is actually a brilliant area because it's just got fa Okay, it's actually... I'd like to say this is a really nice, like, a brilliant area to live. But it's kind of, but it kind of isn't because if you'll always be able to heal the fairies. I'm going to check this place out. You're always going to be able to heal the fairies. Ooh. Ah! Oh my god. Alright, well this is definitely Mez's place because people are telling me it has an ME system already, which I'm guessing this is? ME drive? Yes, it's drive. There's all of Mev's stuff in this little drive. <laughs> the downside of an ME system, someone could take that. I'm not going to take it. I'm not, a, I'm not a bad guy. Most of the time. Um, okay, yeah, okay, here's the ME system. Yeah, everyone's been saying I should get one of these. I've never tried ME stuff. I've never tried tech stuff in general. I really haven't. So, oh, I did way back in the day. Hello, what is this? Guide to dual domination, you say? Okay, they're just general books. Yeah, I'm just sort of investigating Mev's house at this point. <laughs> uh, I can't help it. I want to I wanna look around. Okay, that's obviously that main shaft. Ooh. Interesting, interesting. Oh, but why iron? It's got iron berry bushes. I understand, I understand the need for XP, but for iron. Oh, they're nice. Oh, he's made it. He's made this place look nice. Really has. Also, we. Oh god. Let's try that again. No, don't carve that way. All right. Go. God damn it. There we go. I you would get there eventually. Yeah, this leaping ability is quite interesting. So this is. I need to assume it's wind and earth. That's what vector basically is. It's wind and earth. Oh my god. Oh, that's a lovely sight. A very lovely sight. Dog, can you stop? Can you stop scratching your head, please? You're shaking you're shaking where the mouse is. Come on, dog. Dog, please. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me, dog. Right, hold on. Back home. Back home, back home, back home. Where is the thing? Ba 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 ba. Ugh. Oh yeah, so fun fact. Um I'm trying to think this video should be going out on Tuesday, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, Ruby Students of Beacon, my roleplay that I've been doing, that's going to be fun to try and do because for those that you don't know already, I kind of hand make everything in that and yeah, the next bit that's coming up requires me to make a bunch more stuff and I don't know, if I can find an easier way of doing it, I will. It's just, uh, I'm already somewhat behind because I kind of just went in a bit of a downer because of certain in real life, well not real life, kind of real life, on internet but real life incidents. Um, which, well, basically just one of my, one of my kids on PSN got hacked. That's basically the, the, ups, the 
sorry, line upside. That's basically what happened. And because that was a bit of a downer because of it, because it wasn't a nice situation to be in. It's kind of rectified now, but it was a pain in the ass kind of happened. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, that's something I don't want to go through again, because it's a pain in the ass fixing it. It's fixable, don't get me wrong. It's very fixable. You just phone up Sony and that and they sort everything out. Because the evidence is obviously that it's my bloody account. But no, it's, it's a pain in the backside. And it's just, it, it made me worried because... I, I'm, a kind of, I'm the type of person that I like being in, the, like, like, I'm not a control freak, but I like being in control of situations. I like to know a situation. I like to find out information about it and know what I'm getting into. And just a situation like that, you just have no control over. Someone else has literally just took the control from you and is basically just playing around with your stuff. And it's it's horrible because you don't know what could happen. Like, I feel bad for anyone that's ever been hacked. It is a terrible thing. It's terrifying because you don't know what could happen more. So, yeah. Um... Got a bit downer because of that over the weekend. So I didn't get like any recording done when I should have. But I just I wasn't in a fair mind to record on my own. Maybe if like everyone had been around, I probably would have been alright with it and we just tried recording, but just by myself I just wasn't for it. So yeah, that was why there's no video on Monday. And it's also why I'm now behind on students of beacon work, which I could possibly rectify, but it will be tricky because I need to build stuff and do certain things to that. But we'll see. We'll see where it goes. No zombies. Now where Pappy and Lee Ren, you two are going to breed for me today because I want a different color baby. Okay, I got a green baby. Not what I was wanting, but I can deal with that. Um, hold on, no. Hold on, no. I need any, I need any greens. I will take the green baby on the off chance that it is female because then we'll have a male blue and a few. Yeah, we can breed twice. Worth a go. Oi. Also, I probably should... No, wait. No, I don't... I don't think I need to breed the main ones anymore. It's now just colored ones. It's all about the colored ones. All right. Ah! All right, you. Who are you? Your name is Sky. You're a female. Hold on a minute. Oh, that works then. Okay, you can, you can breed with Neptune somebody. All right, guys. I need a name for a female green. Let us hear it in the comment section down below. Stay there. No, no, no. Zombie, zombie, zombie. Come here. Come on over. Come on over. Um, I was actually was thinking about ground shocking. I'm like, no, I better not. I'll actually just break the chocobo pen open if I do that. No, no, no. All right. Yeah, we need a name for a green female. Yeah, because we don't have one of them. We have... Who are you? I'm not even sure. We, we just have one that's just not anything. Hold on. You need to get out of there. Um, I don't know where I'm putting him. You can sit there. <laughs> Will chocobos jump off edges? I hope they don't. I hope I can just keep my chocobos up there. I may actually do that. Hold on, where's disappointment one and two? Actually, no, disappointment, you can stay. Disappointment two, though, you're coming with me. You haven't grown up because you're not getting enough air about you. Because, like, that's the thing with chocobos. If they're in at the side, they won't grow up. But the second you take him out of that little tiny space, he'll grow up. Because he just grew up the instant I put him down. Um, because I think the same thing happened with Pappy. Pappy was still a baby until, like, literally I named her. And I, I literally just, like, got her to follow me. She came out from the corner and boom, she just became an adult. That's why I'm wanting little Chocobo here to, uh, Chico Chicobo. Which is technically the name of a Chocobo. Its name's actually Sky until Fuller knows. Um, I need a sign that says do not feed the bird. I do, I need to get a sign that says do not feed the bird. Um... Yeah, they don't, they don't, they don't. You, you saw my point, you saw my point. Anyway, I hope it stays in the middle there so it can grow up and then I can use it for breeding with um, Neptune. Because you need to crossbreed green and blue so that you can get, I think it's, what's the next colour? Is it white and black, I think? I think it is. And then you crossbreed white, white and black. Black, black. You crossbreed white and black so that you can get the level after that, which is gold, which is the best one because they can fly. Um, also, frames? Are you having a bit of a wibble? Oh, they really are. Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm back, and I... Whoa, frames, calm down. Yeah, the frames don't like it when I just start recording and start running. But no, I never understand why the frames go weird, because my computer's not, like... It's not... It's got enough usage. Also, used to are literally just going to live life on the edge, aren't you? That's what they did. They're going to just chill on the very edge of where they can be. You know, that someday someone's kind enough to come and knock them off. No, it's not going to happen though. They're going to stay there. Although I have realized the massive flaw in my plan of keeping them on the roof is they are chocobos. They will 
go birdie burr, all day. I'll need to do something about that. There actually is soundproofing blocks. I will probably need to install some on the roof next to them. <laughs> or something. I don't know. I'll figure something out. Anyway. It always looks off to me. I don't know why. Just these things. It's... You know what? That will do. Just don't feed the bard. You'll... I'm going to say I'd upgrade yourself. I may actually just make lots of cells from here. <laughs> For different animals and stuff. I don't know. Um, yeah. So... And I've completely lost track of what's going on because the chocobo nonsense. But no, um, right. Tech mods are something I don't know a lot about, but I may actually get start giving them a try because I do have this thing. This does give me chance to, like, look into things. So there's two different things that everyone's really... Oh, there's one thing everyone talks about, the ME system, that could be worth looking into. But then there's also the... Where is it? It's a robotic suit thing. And it creates, like, a really cool hand. I don't know. It could be interesting. I think they're called power suits. But it's not under P. <laughs> so I'm not actually sure. I don't know. I could look into them. That could be a thing. But I also want to improve my jutsus, improve my arsenal. So I don't know. I need I need to get start getting greens is the issue. Because I can get blues. Blues are easy. But no, um I need greens. And the ones that drop greens, if I remember correctly, are the wind guardian. The Life Guardian, who means I would have to start kidnapping villagers, which, all in fairness, I'm not against kidnapping villagers and making them breed for my, well, not even for my amusement, just because I need their children to sacrifice them so that the God of Nature or God of Life gets angry. <laughs> um, the Lightning Guardian, he does it as well. I think that's only four, because, um, no, Winter drops reds, so I can kill Winter to get red. There's also Nature. I can fight Nature again because there's tons of the green women running around. I can kill nature again. That'll be fun. No, it won't. That'll be horrible. <laughs> but no, we can kill nature. Um, those are the two main ones that you kill for that. Because then there's the fire guardian and the ground. But I'm not going to go to the nether or to the end to try and kill those two. Because fire is really OP and end is just not going to happen. Because I think the end is actually disabled. Because I in previous games now, it's been crashing a lot. So we've just been avoiding it. Anyway though, um, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Because time's ticking on. And it may not feel like I've done a ton today, but I've got, you know, got stuff in mind I want to do. Got some fairies, got a spring in my step, which I think I'm actually going to name the video now. Um, I never knew the spring ability could take me that far. I never knew, like, holding it would actually charge it and work better, because I've only ever seen Zarl use it, and he's only ever went tiny distances. But now, it, like, the whole, like, cooldown effect thing actually makes sense now, although... Yeah, the whole cooldown thing actually makes sense, because... It actually could be charged up pretty long. But yeah, I never knew it could go that far. That's quite good. Um, right, but yeah. We have a female green chocobo to name. Um, the question of the day is... Da, 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 da. What is the Naruto crossover you'd like to see? Um, if they were going to do one. Say they were going to do an episode. What would you like to see as a crossover? Because I'm sure there's plenty of ideas out there. And give us your reason why. And we'll do the signs for next time. Which... I forget which episode we're on. Episode 11, so that'll be episode 12. So that'll be fun. Um, in between episodes, I'm going to start working on the shops and stuff, I think. Because I'm I'm quite satisfied with the space out there. Now that I've got, like, the trees and things. So, yeah, I'm going to just work on... I'll work on that. And I'll try and figure out what I'm going to do about Guardians and stuff. So, yeah. I've got a few different things I want to get done. I need to, I need to kind of dedicate some time to one of them, though. So... But how about building houses will be off camera. I'm not going to do that on camera. I may edit some, like, or adjust some on camera or fill some on camera. But I'm not going to, like, build the entire thing on camera. That's just, no. That's not going to happen. But, you know, keep suggesting ideas and buildings and stuff for what I can put in the town or village. And who should be running what. Because I'm liking some of the ideas I've seen so far. Because I'll, I'll probably end up making, like, another little thing inside the house here. Just, like, a board. Just of suggested names for, just, like, suggested places. And I don't know. We might just put it to a vote on who should be where. Like, I might actually just get the straw poles out and just... We'll take everyone's ideas and we'll just straw pull it. That could be a thing. So, yeah. This this is going to be interesting. Once I start actually working. I need to put I need to put some actual work into this. So, that's, that'll be fun. Alright, anyway, anyway. Leave a like if you enjoyed the show. And I'll see you next time for more Naruto Gaiden. Where we'll be doing something or another. I don't know what yet. It really just depends what I get done off camera. So, we'll see. But, yeah. Um, he's not everything to suggest down below in the comments. There's plenty to comment on. So, let's hear your guys' voices. Let's hear your guys what you're thinking. What you want and, well, ideas for question of the day and names and stuff. Anyway, see you the next time. Goodbye, everybody.